ukap ni ile una, unapata maybe mtu anataka muende na yeye alafu oh, eh, kuna ndoa mu have sex alafu akupea eh alikuwa ananipea nilikuwa nafanya hiyo sasa eh. juu hiyo sasa ni pesa ya haraka oh. na hata mind pia ti uko na mimba ama nini ulikuwa unafanya ukiwa na bond si ndio si sasa hiyo time sinapata niko na, na lazima rent pia nilipe na rent ni 14000 na niko na aibu na sitaki kutoka hapo pia naona aibu ile tu kugadha tu carriage ni sema ni yani ni let it go alafu ni hame pia ili, ilikuwa shida na pia nafunika watu wajue kila kitu iko sa, iko sawa sasa nili, tu, nilikuwa napata hizo maukaps una, unapata mwanaume unaenda na yeye wawili ama watatu siku nne ama tano umepata hiyo rent ushapata hiyo rent hiyo 14000 na kwambia nilikuwa na infection ile <laughs> So this is this is this message is for you. Just know you have put me through a lot with the kids. And may just God bless you wherever you are. That's it. We moved on. Thank you. Wow, I'm so proud of you. Ni sawa. Sawa. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to Tuko Talks. My name is Lynn Gugi. Now, before we concluded up part one, uh, Vera was telling us venye alifika Kisumu. So, ulikuwa na miambili. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yenye nilikuwa nimepewa tu si eti ilikuwa yangu. Eh. Sasa hii miambili umechukua pikipiki. Eh, nikachukua tu motorbike direct mpaka home he watu wakaanza kushangilia vera merudi vera merudi watu wana hata hata watu wa mta sasa wanaanza kuitana ule msichana fulani mwenye aliendanga ngambo ameru <laughs> amerudi sasa sasa tunajua watu hata wanakuja kwa boma yetu sasa wanakuja kusaidia hata wenye hata wajai kuongelesha eh, msichana wa majua amerudi eh amerudi na kwanza hata ni, ni mjamzito inaonekana hiyo hiyo mimba hata ni ya huyo mzu eh. ni ya huyo mzu sasa so, anakuja anakusalimia hapo wengine pia wanataka uwachotea hata kitu. Mm. Kumbe huu uh, mwenye wanafikiri watachotewa kitu ndio hata anataka mimi ndio nataka hata nipewe siju sina. Mm. Wa mama wazee imagine wanakuja kwa bomo wanakuja wanakusalimia na siti usunajua tu Afrika mm. si hati ile kukusalimia wa kawaida ile hatu wa baia taskari na hata ndio si sina. Sasa mimi hivyo venye nilifika nikawasalimia watu wakafurahia nini nika, nilikuwa nimechoka nikalala for two good days nilikuwa nimechoka hata sitaki kuongelesha mtu hata suitcase kufungua au wenye au nani ma sister zangu ndio wakaanza kufungua ma suitcase wanapata hata kuna kitu <laughs> wanapata wanakutana tu na mangu so wanajiongelesha wana ati maybe kuna kuna mzigo mwingine maybe hata imechelewa kwa airport bado itaku itakuja walingoja dile hakuna ilikuwa tu ni hizo nguo zangu tu sasa nikalala for two days mm ndio sasa si ile saa uko na mom na your siblings they want to know uko kuko aje eh si uli, u, mbona ulirudi mbona like, uko unapiga simu eh so, yani jua kukwa mm. na communication mm. to them maybe walifikiria niko tu niko sawa, sawa. eh so ndio wakaanza kuniuliza mbona mbona umerudi uko si ni kuzuri sana uko siji kuna gari ya moshi wananiuliza vitu mingi si unajua tu juu saa mm. umeenda majuu hao waje mm. na ndege inakaa aje nini 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 sasa tukakaa kaa wakaanza sasa kunizoea unit inaelekea sasa two weeks wameweza kukuzoea so they thought maybe nimekuja tu vacation alafu nitarudi wapi nitarudi chile sikurudi na story yenye sababu bangu ndio anataka isikie from the source sasa kulikuwa na shida gani ndio maana kaenda kwa embassy sasa. Sasa huku 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 Kisumu anaanza kunichokora ndio at least ni seme kenye ilifanyika huko ndikafanya wanizuie ni siru ni sirudi sasa. Sasa ile mimi nilikuwa naona aibu. Ile alafu unajua parent pia uwezi jifungua ile tu sana umwambie unajua kuna ulazima tu kwa na limit. Kuna tu venye tamuumiza au unafikiria tu na unamwambia una kumbe inamumi inamumi in, ina so. so kuna zingine nilikuwa na ficha simwambi kabla tola tola kabisa so namwambia tu ah mimi siku 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 elewana na huyo mtu alafu mamake alikuwa ananite ananitesa and that's all siku sema the whole so so unajua hiki kitu ilikuwa inanikula inanikula juu nikikumbuka tu ke, kenye nilikuwa napitia huko alafu unajua pia maisha ya ushago pia hiyo time ilipata kama tulikuwa ile chini kabisa So hii nyumba moja mko watoto wa tisa alafu ni ndogo pia una expect you need space nini 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 
mam pia na kuchokora ali ni chokora for two good years hakuna kenya najua hata hii story maybe nditamfikia hata atashanga kai siku mwambia hata mm. my dad siku mwambia mimi nilimwambia tu huyo mtu anaonekana ni mtu mbaya na atukuelewa atukuelewana so hiyo time yote nimefika si, sasa ni two weeks sasa huyo mtu wako wa ipiga simu hata ile kuulizia tu ulifika ama ulikufia njiani ama nini aku niuliza sasa sinika hiyo after some time nikatulia tulia sana nikaanza maybe ku accept ni mu, ni move on basi na ngoja ngoja nifikirie maybe atafikiria nipigie hakupiga simu sasa si mimi ndio nikataka ni msa ni mtafu ni mtafute ni mjulishe nilifi nilifika sasa kuangalia whatsapp napata nimeblokiwa facebook nimeblokiwa hiyo namba pia yendi through wa nikakuwa na stress so kuna kitu ilikuwa inanisukuma sana niseme what happened sasa kitu inaniambia just hold juu wazazi unajua ukishamwambia ukishamwambia kitu kuhusu yani umemwambia kitu negative kuhusu mtu so unajua hata hawatapenda hata waipeni kasema mm. maybe things might change might change acha ni protect huyu eh wacha tu ni nyama ni nyamaze so nikanyamaza huyu mtu kwanza sasa si unajua sina pesa huko mam pia na expect maybe sasa juu umetoka huko maybe uko na kapesa maybe wasaidie kumbe hata si sina sasa zingine unaambiwa hata kuna sukari ndio waone kama utatoa do pesa hakuna si semi pia kenye ilifanyika huko mimi na, nilikuwa nashinda nikilia nalia nalia na kuambia nilikuwa na depression na sitaki pia ni share na mtu. Hiyo kitu inaniuma mpaka saa zingine nikikaa hivi na sikia hapa inaniuma. Na sasa hiyo mtu hii ako kwa tumbo. Eh mtu hii ako kwa tumbo sasa. Sasa si mamangu jua aliona I think mam kuna sometime wanaelewanga tu. Maybe kuna shida mahali ndio maana hata ana pe. Do siku mwambia. So alikoma kuniko, kuniomba pesa sasa. Sasa watu wa nini watu wa mtana nao wanaongea kwani arudi mbona alikuja na mimba na kwanza anakuja kuzaa mtoto mzungu huku wenye wajui sasa after kuzaa mtoto wanasema ati mtoto ni albino yani walikuwa naongea vitu mingi sasa wengine wanasema huyu mtoto ni kama kuna shida ya ngozi juu unajua mix venye nileza huyo mtu alikuwa alikuwa pinkish yani mm, mm. si bifa patesa hiyo eh, kala yake mm. anakam pinkish hivi so wenye wajui sasa kama waushagua hawana hiyo exposure mm. wanasema mtoto hii ni albino mm. mara si mtoto yeye afanyiwe nini so nikaendelea na hiyo life mtoto wangu akazaliwa saa Kisumu huyo sasa first born wangu sasa hiyo time ilipata kama hata i didn't have money ile ya kulipa tausi so sometimes nikiwa hapo nini nikiwa hapo Kisumu nilikuwa nachomoka na tafuta vibarua sasa kwa nini kwa estate sasa in town sasa kama milimani nenda na hata nafulia mtu nguo nafanya ni anything tu inezaleta ine, ine pesa na si semi huku kwenye nimetoka na semi ah nenda tu kutembelea beshte yangu pengine hata kuna beshte nenda kutembelea so sometimes nilikuwa na pe na pesa napatiana so wanafikiria ati maybe ametuma ametuma <laughs> kumbe ni pesa zenye mimi mwenye nimepata kivi yangu hata hakuwaijua so hiyo time nikapata ni kama alikuwa ameni unblock sasa nikaanza hata kumtumia mapicha za mtoto nione kama hata maybe hata hata tukumbuka maybe hata mm. nipigie simu hakupiga mm. unaona tu na bluetoothikiwa una bluetoothikiwa ah mi pia nikakuja nikachoka nikasema ai kwani huyu mtu nitajibembeleza kwake hadi ni hadi lini hata pia mimi nika stop hiyo communication sasa juu hata picha ukitumiwa tu ya mtu ameona yes nimejifungua na hakuna pesa yote nimemwitisha si anafaa kuni kunipigia hata simu mm. sasa pia mimi nika nikaachana sana eh sasa after some time tena nikapata tena me ameni block ile kabisa kabisa kabisa. Mm, mm. Sasa mtoto anaendelea tu ku grow shago mtoto yeye anaendelea tu ku grow anaendelea tu ku grow mpaka mtoto yeye akafika 2 years. Sasa maneno ya <laughs> ya watu wa ushago ilikuwa imenichosha. Mara huyu mtoto sijui nini si unajua tu life ya ushago mm. na mtoto akizaliwa pale ataishi tu venye wengine wanai mm. wanaishi so wakaanza kuongea nikaona hizo maneno zao pia zinaniumiza alafu pia una kazi na pia una lea mm, mm. nikasema eh hey, mimi nitaenda Nairobi at least Nairobi kuna ni rahisi uhaso hata mtoto unamwacha deke unaenda hasol za kutarudi uchukue jioni aya sasa si nikaongea na best yangu mwingine nikamwambia unajua nini imagine niliendanga ngambo si ulisikia fununu ati eh hey, kwanza ni wewe ati eh hey. 
na nikamwambia ti imagine nilirudi ingi saa hizi niko Kenya na niko niko Shago Kisumu atiaje sasa utatokaje ngapa alafu tena ujishusha hadi home saa hizi unafaa kwenda kuwatembelea tu mm. umekaa uko for how long mm. So yeye anafikiria ati nimekaa for for one, some time. One eh namwambia ati nimekaa huko 2 years. Imagine na ku believe 2 months 2 years aje umekaa huko. So nikamwambia mimi nataka nikuje Nairobi lakini si utaka ni accommodate tu for some time. Alafu ndio nikuje nikwambie story sasa. Sasa vinyi akakubali. Sasa tukakaa ka hapo anaanza kunichokora at least nimwambie ka kitu jumtoini anaonekana tu huyu na amezaliwa hapa Kenya. Mm. Wangambo pia anaonekana tu. Sikumwambia but nilimwambia tu wewe baba wao mtu sana nisumbua sana. Sana juu sikuwa nataka kushare hiyo story ili kuna niumiza sana. Sasa tukakaa ka naye hapa for some time akaniambia ti sasa si unajua tu Nairobi Nairobi hakuna kukaa nikamwambia exactly. Hata mimi nikitoka home sikutaka nikuje mm. nikae na tafuta job akaniambia mimi nilifikiri unakuja already ushapata kazi ndio sasa mimi nifanye tu kazi ya kukuhoz nikamwambia hata kazi yenyewe aku, hakuna sasa si akanitafutia kazi ya daycare hapo naweza sema sijui niliona Mungu ama ni nini you daycare unafanya huko sit miss hata mtoto wako pia atakuwa atakuwa pale unaangalia wengine na wako pia kwa pale nikaanza sasa kufanya kazi ya hiyo daycare nikafanya hiyo kazi na roho yangu yote juu mtoto wangu pia Uno, unajua ni ile kazi sasa unafanya na roho yako yote juu pia mtoto wako unamuona pale so na anakula hapo yes anakula hapo sasa huyu wa daycare sasa ndio nikaanza sasa kum juu alikuwa ananiuliza a lot about baba ya watu baba ya huyu mtoto sasa nikamwambia ah, ni story ndefu nitakuja tu nikwambie tu siku nyingine but alikuwa na insist kila time tu anataka ni chimbe chimbe ani aniulize sasa hiyo story sasa kuna time ikabidi nime that he, alikuwa the first person mwenye sasa nilikuwa namwambia what i went through mm. sasa na yeye pia aliguzwa na hiyo story sasa akaniambia what na si you are a strong woman nikamwambia yeye yeah, niko strong hiyo time nilikuwa job naona strange namba inanipigia sasa nikataka kujua nani huyu ananipi anapigana namba ya Kenya hapa na kwa juu anapigana namba ya juu okay. ya majuu sasa hiyo time nikataka kujua sana ni huyu ni nani jumia hata siku waifikiri ati huyo mtata wai rudi tena nilikuwa nimemsahau ile kabisa kabisa mtoto ashafikisha tu yasha mm. amezoeana na life ya Kenya yani mtu wako tu sawa sasa atu kuongea ile sana kaniuliza tu how are you how nikamwambia nika si tuko sawa hata mtoto wako sawa si nilikutumia anga picha nilijifungua au kuongea ati yo sijui it's my mom nene 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 sasa hiyo time juu nilikuwa na hiyo machungu ni kama ndiye ameiamsha vizuri eh, sasa eh, eh, eh. akaanza sasa kunitumia pesa ananitumia pesa na nitumia pesa ina ina wika na nitumia hata 10k 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 At, sijui hiyo ni kama alikuwa ananifunika macho ndio ni sau hizo tu alikufanyia yes anatuma pesa anatuma pesa anatuma pesa eh ni, sasa hapo nikaanza kuchanganyikiwa nikaenda sasa kwa huyo mama juu ni mama machua mm. nikamwambia unajua nini ule baba mtoto ni kama ameanza kunitafuta na sijui nifanye aje na huyo mtu tulisumbuana na yeye sana akaniambia ati unajua tu hii Kenya na huyu mtoto wako si, si unaona ni, ni mzungu huyu utawezana na hata fee au utawezana na kama amejileta we kuba Kubali. kubali tu sasa si mimi nika nikamu accept back sasa sasa akaniambia hivyo haraka haraka after 2 weeks akaniambia ti anapanga kukuja ke kukuja Kenya yame anakuja ku apologize sasa ile face to face si ile ya simu at is very sorry about what happened nikiwa kwao is very sorry on behalf of the mom mm. ama nini nini sasa si ndio wakapanga safari anakuja sasa ni, nikaona Hakuna venye nita manage kazi na ye pia naku, anakuja. Oh. Ni... <laughs> hey, guy, ukaacha kazi. Nikaacha kazi na pesa si unajua pia likuwa na nitumia. We unajua mashida nilipitia usha ago, hata hiyo 10k muta kikutumia kwa wiki uluko naona tu sivini. Ni miujiza. Ni miujiza lafu tena kwangu ilikuwa ni pesa ingine mingi sijai guza pesa kama hiyo. 10000 utumie hii wiki tena hiyo wiki ingine ama after 2 days sasa kutumia 10 10 10 ama 5 5 5 5 so look, nilikuwa naona hiyo ni pesa mingi alafu to, to, somehow nilikuwa convinced that huu mtu ame ame change ile completely mm. na ameru, mm. amerudi 
nikaambia huyu mama mm. ati aki usione vibaya ati naacha kazi nikamwambia ule mtu anasema ati mpaka anataka kuja ku meet mtu huyu akaniambia aki hiyo itakuwa mzuri mpaka wote tukafurahi Mungu amejibu maombi yetu mm. si nilikwambia huyu mtu kuna tu siku moja atakutafuta mm. eh nikasema aki amerudi sasa nikaacha kazi huyu mtu bado tu anatuma hata hii duration ya mpanga kukuja bado tu anatuma pesa sasa nika tafuta nyumba sasa sasa nilikuwa naishi kwa bed ya 6500 nilikuwa ware juu tuko kwa bed sitter na mtoi na yeye pia anakuja na ni kadogo mm. unajua mm. tu bed sitter venye wanga ndogo mm. mimi nikasema ah wacha yeye mwenyewe akuja aone nyumbani ndogo ataona venye atafa mm. atafanya si akapanga safari mimi mwenyewe ndio nikamwandikia invitation letter akaku akapewa visa akakuja sasa Venya alikuja tukaenda kumchukua sasa kwa airport sasa. My daughter si ajai muone hata mjui. Anajaribu hata kuguza hivi mtoto. Mtoto anakataa mjui, ajai muona. So tukakuja, tukamtoa airport, tukachukua cab, tukakuja hadi kwa nyumba sasa umoja. Tuka tuka muingiza kwa hiyo nyumba. Tukakaa hapo for three days akaanza kuteta nyumba ni ndogo. Nyumba ni ndogo. Nikamwambia it's okay kama nyumba ni ndogo kuna still nyumba kubwa kubwa huko Nairobi bado tunaweza pata tuishi. Akaniambia nitafute nyumba sasa yenye tunaenda kuishi. Mm. Nikatafuta nyumba rafiki yangu huyu mwenye akona watoto akanisaidia. Tukatafuta nyumba sasa tuka, ni, tukaenda kuishi sasa mm. tasi ya kwa ndege sasa two bedroom 14000 sasa si tukalipa rent na deposit na hizo vitu zote zenye wanatakanga yeye ndiye alilipa tukabai tu vitu za nyumba si tunaishi sasa visa yake ilikuwa ya six months tukaendelea kuishi tukaendelea kuishi tuko sawa kabisa hakuwa ananifanyia kitu yote yenye tasema eh huyu mtu ananitesa mani nini mm. anajaribu ku bond na mtoi yes but mtoto alikuwa anamkataa hey. nilikuwa namsumbua sana ku bond mm. na yeye mm tukakaa sasa the second month tukika hapo kwa ndege akaniambia ati tafuta nyumba sasa ni kununulie nyumba sasa tu, tuishi ile ya kununua sasa eh nikasema ki Mungu na siweni wa maajabu <laughs> hey, nyumba sasa imagine siku amini sasa Guy. nikaanza sa, unajua ile <gasps> umefurahi sasa nyumba Uko excited eh, my ni, life is about to turn kabisa nikaanza kuambia sasa marafiki he si walisikia fununu huyo mtame sasa naanza kuwaeka kari, mm. karibu huyo mtame ru amerudi at least friends wenye walikuwa nakusaidia si eh. lazima uambie sasa mm. nikaanza kuambia huyo mtame rudi na sasa nataka nitafute nini nyumba nyumba sasa ya kuishi yani nyumba yangu sasa tu kaanza kutafuta nyumba tunatafuta nyumba hizo maajen sawa wenye wanauzanga manyumba tukapata nyumba mara ukipata yeye anasema no 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 i want a sijua four bedroom house pengine ulipata three unaenda tena unatafuta tunatafuta four ukipata four tunaenda ku view anasema hii ataki eh nikasema woi Mungu ama huu mtu anataka 10 bedroom sasa juu kila nyumba yenye tunatafuta anasema ape <laughs> ape <laughs> so finally nyumba yenye tulipata ilikuwa six ilikuwa four bedroom mm. but ilikuwa spacious koma rock sasa hiyo mm-hmm. time ilipata kama hizo nyumba bado ni mpya mpya mm. Tukaambiwa hiyo nyumba four bedroom ilikuwa around 7 point something mm. million. Akasema that one is very cheap. Utafute nyumba yenye <laughs> what? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that one is very cheap. Eh, at four bedroom <laughs> and iko Eastlands. Sasa si uko kwa Maroc ni Eastlands. Mm. Alafu it is 7 point something million. That's a very cheap house. Nikamuuliza kwa ni budget yako ni ngapi juu at least kama mimi ni mke wako nijue eh unijuniambie tunatafuta nyumba ya aina hii mm. ya pesa hii ndio ikuwe rahisi pia mimi kutafu marafiki zangu akachoka juu utapeleka mtu aviu nyumba kama 20 alafu akose kupenda hata moja mm. wakaniacha sasa nimebaki peke yangu peke mimi yako. na yeye sasa hiyo pia semi asemi yako mm. na pesa ngapi na uko nyumbani ushaambia wazazi hiyo mtu amerudi sikuambia but walisikia fununu my eh. brother kanipigia eh akaniuliza ti tunasikia fununu huyo mtu alikuja jua hata eh. mumepiga mapicha mm. na amepost amepost facebook sasa akiwa Kenya sasa si alirudi mm. akapiga piga mapicha sasa mm. ati alirudi nikamwambia yeye alirudi sasa brother yangu alikuwa anataka kuja na ammi amit ataki brother yangu akuje my sisters ndio walikuwa nakuja na mm. au ni my my yanga hawezi muuliza ni kitu eh, so my brother mwenye ananifuata anataka ku akuje ataki brother yangu amit aka block brother yangu sa facebook sasa 
ju bradangu si ana comment kwa picha mm. sasa mm. aka blog huyo bradangu sasa sasa bradangu analiza huyo mtu kwani shida yake nini mbona ameni block nikamwambia eh hiyo inataka tu kimuuliza kwa si kwa simu sasa sasa juu naona bradangu anaingilia maybe ataribu ile story huu mtaka sirika hata sinunue nyumba mm. Mm. eh juu tulikuwa kwa hiyo process sasa mm. Sasa tuka huyu mtu akabai time ati sijui wao anatoa excuse ati nyumba ni cheap sijui nini 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 Tukaenda up our emergency sasa sukisha view nyumba mm. umeonyeshwa mm. kila kitu sasa wanakupiganga wana simu baadaye sasa pengine uliridhika sa mm. uko interested mm. unataka kununu wanza wanaanza sasa kunipigia masimu wanapiga masimu mimi hata sasa sijui niwaambie nini sasa sasa hiyo ni miezi ta miezi tatu sasa zimeisha bado ako Kenya bado ako na another mm. three months mm. sasa sasa tunaanza the fourth month akaanza sasa kusumbua tena but kidogo kidogo tu anasema oh sijui ako na issue na sijui na bank nini na banki yake sasa sasa tunajua anafanya online transaction mm. sasa ati oh sijui banki yake sijui imefanya nini mimi sikuelewa kama anasema ukweli ama ni uongo sana niambia ati ametuma mama yake aenda muangalilie kuna shida gani na banki yake sasa na sai bado akiwa home anaenda job anafanya job okay, okay. so sai amekuja tu kozi yako ah hiyo hiyo alikuja ku meet mtoto aliniambia okay. specifically mm. ku meet hata kwa kwa nini kwa hiyo invitation letter nilinota anakuja ku meet mtoto mtoto okay sasa hii time yako hapa namwambia sasa you to live mi kwanza nilikuwa napenda huyo mtu by the way mm. sasa nikamwambia despite all kila kitu nilifanyika huko na umesha apologize si basi uende u validate our marriage certificate sasa juni ya chile na msukuma kila mara tuende hata kwa embassy watatusaidia tu nini tu validate marriage certificate tupewe both ya Kenya na ya u, ya, u, ya uko hii ataki kumbe baadaye nilikuja kugundua ni kwa nini alikuwa anafanya hivyo mm. sasa si tukakaa hapa tukakaa kutukakaa sasa unajua ataki nyumba pia tununue ameanza saa ku change sasa tuko the fifth month sasa fuda na nunua renta nalipa kama kawaida sasa the fifth month which means the ne- next month ya naenda visa kesha expire sasa sasa hii fifth month ndio sasa nikashika ball sasa guy ingine ingine tena ya huyu sasa my son sasa nikashika ball na ya narudi sasa next month but aku ni show maybe at ile at ya me change at yani sikujua tena huyu mtu anaweza change tena kaniambia tulia hata kama story ya nyumba tujamaliza naenda juu visa imexpire na nistaki ku extend nitarudi te Ten. nitarudi tena sasa unajua ameacha kama hizo projects zenye alikuwa ameacha ameacha ziko hanging zote hakuna yenye amefanya akaka akaka hiyo hiyo month tukakaka tukakaka nikamwambia ti unajua nini mimi niko na niko na ujauzito tena akaniambia don't even worry about that i will take care of that be hey. of of my babies my hey, kids hey. hey. mimi nikakuja nikatulia huu mtu akosa akosa sawa eh hey. sasa si hiyo month nyingine saka kapanga mm nini trip yake anaru anarudi nika invite my friend huyu mwenyako na mtoto tuka tukamsindikiza hadi kwa airport sa. sasa before i end airport nilimwambia kulingana na Kenya ulifanya siwezi nikakuamini te tena so kuna kapesa kadogo alikuwa ameniachia mm. alikuwa ni ameniachia round alikuwa amelipa rent ya 2 months ahead alafu saka niachia tena pesa ilikuwa karibu 30 something mm. thousand mm. si hiyo ni upkeep naweza nunua food ama some other mm. things nikamwambia juu ni kitu yenye ulishafanya na sija kuamini hata kama una simu tarudi at least tuachie some some money sasa mm. katuachia pesa hiyo 30 something thousand mm. sasa hivyo venye tulimsindikiza airport tukaongea tu poa kukuwa na shida tuka take pictures Yaani ile hata rafiki yangu ana eh haki vera Mungu. Yaani si tulikuwa tunaweza eh Mungu Mungu ni mzuri Mungu. Kumbe hatukujua hapo ndo saa shida ndo hapo ndo inaanzia ile kabisa kabisa. Na hapo ndo utamuona mara ya mwisho. Eh na juu sasa unajua pia amekuharibia kazi. Uwezi endelea kazi kwenye ulikuwa unaenda juu alikuwa alafu na ametoka na tena amekuachia shida tena zaidi na zaidi kabisa. Sasa tukamsindikiza airport yaka eh akaenda akakuwa na issues kwa airport na yeye sijua au ma, ma, ma ofisa walikuwa namwambia ni sasa unajua mm. walikuwa nasumbuana akanipigia simu tena tukarudi kwa airport tukasort hiyo story mm. sijua alikuwa alifanya nini alafu mm. ni mtu aski pia yani sijua na ako na hiyo pride mimi ni mzungu kitu kai yanadharau wa Afrika ni sema tu hivyo mm. so i think aliletwa kichwa ngumu huko akasumbuliwa mpaka tukampata police station ya ya yeah, airport ya yeah, airport so me i don't know what he did there nikaenda nikaongelea si au ni wa Kenya wenzako kuna eh. tu vile lugo taongea na wale mm. 
Nika aki ni uni mgeni wangu alikuja, aki murilisi tu, aki ndege yake tamuacha he. Eh? Aende. Aende. Hapo tukatua ilufunga tano. <laughs> Kwa ile pesa enya liniachia, tukatua ilufutano ndi haka chiliwa sasa. Eh. Haka enda. I don't know what he did by the way. Mm. Sasa si haka enda. Ivo venya lienda, miba na yo ni ni excitement yangu. Bado na ta, after two days, sinatulia ndio ni najua after two days ndi hata kwa mifika. Sasa nafanya ile follow up ni mulize na video call la shiki. Facebook na nasema acha nijaribu Facebook una, una video call messenger ashiki eh nashanga kwa ni na unamwona online sasa nashanga u uh, mtu anaweza kuwa na ama basi wacha ni assume amecho amechoka amechoka the following day tena unajaribu a uh, aongee eh nashanga kwa ni kuna nini sasa the third week sasa akani block unajua ameenda na mimi hatujaonge hatujakorofishana ama tujambiana nini akani block tu hivyo Sasa nashanga kwa nini nimefanyia huu mtu niti ndio itafanya ani block mm. nika ni, rafiki yangu akaniambia tulia tu wewe uzijua ni kwa nini ame block na kama kuna sababu mimi atakutafuta baadaye akueleze mm. nimeku block juu ya ina ina aku ni aku nitafuta ama kunitafuta tena niambia tio niliku block juu ya ina na hii na wala sijui kenye waliongea huko tukakaa kaa kaa hapa saa unajua nikaanza kuwa na wasiwasi tena do rent imelipiwa kwa Two months. For two months, lakini niko na wasi wasi juu. Unajua saa huyu ndo, huyu ndo saa ni kama ndi ananisaidia hile mm. kabisa kabisa. Mm. Mi saa hizo sina kazi. Na mekwa chapia na mimba na ukona mtoi. Na hii nyumba kama niseme, for example, nitatafta kibaro. Siyezi lipa 14,000 ilikuwa mingi kwangu. So nikakuwa na hiyo wasi wasi. So nikataka hile, kumutafuta hile sana. Hata kama ataki kushika simu, mimi na mutafuta tu, hata kini blo ana ni block na mtumia hata nini message na namba ingine. I respond eh nikakuwa na wasiwasi ikakuwa hivyo na niko na ball na maisha lazima pia bado tu yendele. Ikafika hiyo two months imepita si sasa utaanza tu kulipa rent kama kawaida sasa. Nilikuwa na stress na mimba pia uko nayo na ujue pia kuna wengine ukiwa na, na mimba si rahisi wa kuajiri. Mm. Alafu unajua pia kuambia watu ati yo siju mzungu tena alienda tena ameanza siku aibu nilikuwa naona aibu yenye nilikuwa naambia tu hiyo friend wangu ati imagine um, venye tulisindikiza wao oh, mtu hata hajaongea ati saja hajaongea je wewe mpatie two time mpatie two time tulipatiana time tulipatiana time mpaka saa hizi bado mnapatiana time bado tunapatiana time tu na hizi ni miaka ngapi saa hii Sasa hizi ni miaka 3 mtoto alishazaliwa. Eh, alikuwa Kenya 2019 ama 2018? 2017. 2017. Ndio mtoto wangu amezaliwa 2018. Oh, so 2017. Eh, 2017 Iyo. around Feb eh. akakaa mpaka July ndio akaenda. Ndio akaenda. Akaenda sasa. Tukakaa sasa ni, nikaanza kupiga mahesabu hii nyumba italipwa. Mimi hata wari yangu kwanza ilikuwa ni nyumba. nyumba. Juu niliwa nasema after all kama kumeshindikana tu kabisa nitarudi wapi daycare? Ntambia huyo mama kumedho kazi. Eh kumedho kate. Kumedho kate na tuanze tu mali tuli tuliachia. Tuli Sasa nikaanza ku, ku nini? Unafanya vibarua yes uta save save but I, I, ama kama itatosha tatosha rent lakini hamuna chakula mm. sasa na uko na mtoto pia. Mm. Mimba na pia urujui sasa hizo ina growing <laughs> na speed nyingine ndio ionekane. Hata <laughs> kama ni kazi uliko umepata. <laughs> eh Aki nilikuwa na, nilikuwa na lia mbaka sasa kuna time unalia na kuna machozi natoka. Ukitoka unaenda mahali unajipaka mafuta uko tu smart unawea make up hata kuna mwenye anajua kenye naendelea. But caretaker ni kama alikuwa na feel kuna shi. Kuna shida. Ju sometimes hata kukutana na miku wa stairs ni melea machi mefura. Muta nakumiza are you okay? Na muambia very okay na machi mefura. Ana feel tu kuna kitu utaki mm. maybe utaki kusema but mm. nilikuwa na shida kazi yoyote yenye inaweza kuwa inaleta pesa nilikuwa nafanya yoyote yenye nitasikia inaleta pesa na, na, nafanya nini nafanya sasa kuna friend wangu naye akanishanua vera huyu mtu venye ameenda hivi ujue ni kama ameenda na kuenda kabi, kabisa we mu move, move on. on sasa si nikaanza kuingia kwa hizi ma dating sites sasa yes unapata watu sasa Akaniambia ati you know what hapo kwa dating site bado naweza patanga mahu mahuka sasa jumii sana mjinga 
yani ataki ile ataki kufafanua sana ni mimi mwenyewe nitumia akili yangu ukap ni ile una unapata maybe mtu anataka muende na yeye alafu oh, eh, kuna ndoa mu have sex alafu akupea eh alikuwa ananipea nilikuwa nafanya hiyo sasa eh. juu hiyo sasa ni pesa ya haraka oh. na hata mind pia ati uko na mimba ama ni nini ulikuwa unafanya ukiwa na bon si ndio si sasa hiyo time sinapata niko na, na lazima rent pia nilipe na rent ni 14000 na niko na aibu na sitaki kutoka hapo pia naona aibu ile tu kugather tu courage ni sema ni yani ni let it go alafu ni hame pia ilio, ilikuwa shida na pia nafunika watu wajue kila kitu iko sa, iko sawa sasa nili, nilikuwa napata hizo maukaps una, unapata mwanaume unaenda na yeye wawili ama watatu siku nne ama tano umepata hiyo rent ushapata hiyo rent hiyo 14000 na kwambia nilikuwa na infection ile <laughs> Uko na infection ile ya tu kitibwa juu naenda na watu tofauti tofauti unaona Na uko na ball pia so hiyo time nilipata kasi niko na four months sasa I, sasa mimi inaanza ku shoot so unajua hata kama hizo ni mauko absolute hapata juu mtu atakuuliza and you are pregnant mbona unafanya na sitaki pia watu wajue so unaona so hiyo ni kitu yenye hata kama ni mzazi akisikia itamuuma atakwambia kwani ni lazima basi uka, so ukuja hata basi ushago na pia ushago pia sitaki kuenda lazima maisha yaendelee marafiki wake kuja kukutembelea wanapata kila kitu iko saa kama ni shopping iko kwa nyumba rent pia unaendelea tu kulipa so wana bilifunika kabisa eh wana believe ule mzungu anatuma pe anatuma pesa kumbe hakuna pesa inatumwa sasa hiyo kazi nilikuja kuacha juu so mimba imekuwa kubwa si rahisi sa mtu hata kikuona hivi hata nini hata kubali ikawa sasa tuna tukaanza tena group nyingine ya wasana nyingine tunaenda kufulia watu kileleshwa ati unajua una wa, 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 wana, wanaendanga wanajikusanya mahali alafu sasa mtu akitaka mtu akufua anakuita anakuita tunangangania pia hiyo kazi juu kwa na shida akaniambia hii kazi ukivumilia do watu bado hawajakujua but ukivumilia alafu anzi kujua jua na wanaona kazi zao hata wengine sasa watakuwa na kupigia simu kiwa tu kwa nyumba na yenye nilivumilia for 3 months sasa After that ujue mimba bado tu inagoro sasa. Huyu mtoto wangu sasa ilipata kasi sana mpeleka deke ya but sasa si si uko mali nilikuwa mm. nafanya kazi hapo tu within. Mm. Mm. Nikaka tuka nikafanya fanya hiyo kazi for 3 months sasa nika nikachoka sasa doni ilikuwa na save save. Tulikuwa tunapata pesa ina day ulikuwa unaweza toka hata na 2000 kukienda. Hiyo mm. ni vibaya. Mm unafua hapo haraka haraka ndio ukipata ingine tena uweze kue, kuenda kuenda juu ukifanya polepole pole, na mwingine na hata eh ataenda so kama ni kubaya sana ulikuwa unaweza pata hata 2000 ama saa zingine 15 saa zingine mm. pia tao mm. kuki, 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 kama kumenda vibaya mm. so nikafanya fanya hivyo na nilikuwa na save save pia alafu ni so, si mimba sika kwa kubwa na pia nachoka pia mm ikabidi sasa hiyo pesa yenye tuko nayo ndio tuna tunakula alafu sasa kwa dating site pia si kutoka bado kuna wazungu bado uko na unaweza waongelesha mm. wengine pia una open up unaambia what happened nini 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 wengine pia wanakutumia pesa mm. sasa hizo pesa ndio saa zingine pia nisukuma na dipalipa nayo rent unaona wengine wanakutumia pesa imagine na waja kumeet But usijaribu ku mention uko na watoto hapo ndo shida inatokeanga. Ukijaribu ku mention tu ati uko na watoto alafu tena ni wazungu wana, wa, wengine wanakuambia ati maybe wewe ndio ulikuwa mbaya ndio maana maybe huyo mzungu mzungu mwenzako mwenzao alikuacha. Which is not true. So nikafanya fanya hivyo nika nikajifungua huyo sam mtoto wangu ili patakaa mimi nilikuwa nimechoka. Sasa si ndio huyo sam mtoto amezaliwa sasa. Sasa ujue hiyo ni mizigo ngapi? Huyu huyu pia shagoro lazima aende shule sasa. Mm. Na huyu mwingine ukae naye kwa, nyu, mm. kwa, kwa nyumba. Hizi pesa kidogo kidogo yenye tulikuwa tuna save save na kukula ndikabidi nimempeleka nao shu. shule. Nikampeleka shule sasa. Alisoma tu ta moja nikashindwa kulipa fiti na karudi kwa nyumba. <laughs> Juu nilimpeleka hiyo shule nika nikafikia maybe Mungu atanisaidia mafungue njia 
nitapata tu doni aendelee kusoma mtoto alisoma tu ta moja nikashindwa kulipa fee mm. nikarudi nikakaa na yeye hiyo time pia tukafungiwa nyumbi kabidi tuna ha tuna hama na hakuna pesa ya kuhama mtoto pia amefukuzwa shu amefukuzwa shule sasa after that hizo nilikuwa na napitia na hizo challenges sasa wengine wana ni advice enda kwa embassy utasaidiwa enda kwa embassy utasaidiwa so nilikuwa naenda kwa embassy oh, sasa hii ya child hii ya upkeep ya watoto eh hey, ya watoto sasa sasa kuenda huko naambiwa ti now that mlifanya harusi kule amuku validate huku which means there's a way si hawa watoto wajulikane chile mm hawa tuto wanajulikana Kenya mm. juu documents zao zote ni za Kenya mm. which means hakuna possibility huyo mtu anaweza kukusaidia na ni rahisi pia dina hawa tuto si wake juu yes. eh, juu si hawa tuto watambuliki chile yeah. unless walikuwa na Chilean passport yes. unaona kitu na kama hawana, hawana. Yeah. sasa ananiambia t- kuna kitu inaitwa sijui alamoni ama sisi alimoni eh, kitu kama hiyo eh. sasa so that one can only happen kama watoto wanajulikana chile na wajulikani na wajulikani na, wajulika na wajawai kanyaga watu ni hapa ni wa Kenya sasa si ndio nikatafuta nyumba sasa tuka ha mm. tuka ama nikaenda sasa kwa single room mm. sasa sasa unajua watoto pia ku adjust na hiyo life ilikuwa ngumu juu pale walikuwa kwa two bedroom kuna kitchen kuna nini sasa zingine wamepata wanamejisaidia mpaka kwa kiti juu kama umewafungia hawezi toka nje waende kwa choo ya nje sasa ama upate wamejimwagia food juu pale ni kadogo mm. ni room kadogo na vitu zimejaa hivi sasa hata i thank god hata wako wai nini chomeka ama nini juu pia gas umeka hapo na uko nao pia na huyu mwingine pia si, si ati ule mkubwa sana mm. sasa hizo si alikuwa for years na yeye ndio tena chunge huyo brother yake pia so ilikuwa ngumu sana so after corona <laughs> ilikuwa tena ngumu sana juu kila time najaribu kuinuka hivi sijui ni pepo ama ni nini lazima tu ushu Mshuke. ama kuna kitu tu lazima tu ingie kati tu nikaamua sasa hizi vitu za nyumba itabidi tu nimeu umeuza nimeuza sasa juu uko na madeni nje unakopa kopa mnakula mm. zingine pia unalipa nao rent so uko na madeni nje pia hata kama pahali yes so ikab... nikasema hapa sasa kitu yenye niko nayo nitanisaidia ni challenges gani sasa hii watoto wako wanapitia na wako wako shule wameingia shule sasa challenges zenye tunapitia sana sana ni sasa watoto school fees sasa ule huyo mkubwa kianza shule si nililipa hata moja tu nikashindwa kakaka nyumbani alafu saa hii time ya corona corona kisha si watoto walikuwa mm. na resume shule sasa mm. sasa si wangu mi bado sikuwa na pesa mm. nikataka sasa kumpeleka public ju nilikuwa naangalia mbele nyuma hakuna mm. so nikataka kumpeleka public nikimpeleka public ni, ni, nilikuwa ni, nimeenda na ye shule sasa mm. kuulizia kama tutapata chance mm. si yule akanjo sasa kufika huko nani huyo mwalimu ananiuliza ni nani unatafutia nafasi nasema si ni msichana wangu na uko shuwa atasoma hapa sasa nikashindwa atasoma atashindwa kusoma aja, hapa aje na wengine wanasoma we wanasoma yani tu ha alikuwa naona huyu mtoto afai kuwa hapo afai kuwa hapo anafaa kuwa maybe to some si international zama. school yes. ama private yes. nikamwambia ukiona nimemleta ama na mimi ndio mama yake yani kuna tu venye ndio maana ni mm. situation imetufikisha tu hapa mm. so please kama kuna nafasi ni ni allow tu mtu wangu admitiwe hapa mm. kaniambia kuna nafasi the following day nikatuma sasa rafiki yangu aenda mm. niulize nafasi ya pipi tu mm. anaambiwa tie pipi tu iko nafasi na mimi jana niambiwa aje ati nafasi hakuna simply because wameona huyu mtu ni mzungu eh ni mzungu sasa si tukarudi home nikajaribu tena nini hiyo shule ingine wakaniambia kama ulikataza uko juu pia huku utakataza nikamwambia si management ni tofauti mm. ati mm. wewe ukishakatazwa hivyo wewe tafuta tu venye utafanya na mimi pia nikakufa roho sasa nika nikarudi na mtu wewe kwa nyumba sasa kwa mat hata ukiingia na watu wewe kwa mat watu wanasemanga nini si obvious watu wanajua wewe si mama yao mm. <laughs> wewe si ni maid so kuna wengine wanakuongelesha tu vibaya wajui kama wewe ndio mama yao ati mwingine juzi alikuwa ananiambia uh, after kuhama sasa sijutu sijutu tulikuwa tunaenda kwa beshte yangu tumepanda mat sasa za komaro kana niambia haki natamani sana nipate house girl kama wewe nikipata siezi acha ona venye sasa unachungia umama watoto wake vizuri yani hata yani unaona venye huyo mdogo umemchunga hata utaki agongwe najui mtoto ni wa 
mm. ni wangu na hizo ni vitu nimekuwa nikisikia hata from watu tu tofauti waamini watoto ni wangu mm. ama wanakuambia yani wakiona unaishi tu hiyo maisha ya kawaida wanaona yani ufai kuwa hapo yani mm. we uwezi panda matatu unaona mm. kitu kama hiyo mm. africans wako na mentality tu ingine yani mm. wanaona ni kama ukipatana na mzungu they relate it with maybe riches money. eh ama mm. money mm. Sasa saa zingine wanaona you don't fit there. Ukienda hata kubai kitu kwa it's only kwa supermarket ndio hizi kuovercharge. But we, uende tu kwa open air market you are, you are going to buy maybe vitu za nyumba ama watoto nguo they overcharge. Yenye unajuanga tu kawaida nikienda hii shot ya mtoto maybe ni 200. Wewe ukienda na watoto wako ni miangapi? Ame nifunga hapa. Moja. Si wanaamini yani uko na pesa. Mm. Na hata wanaume si atisipati ati wenye wananitaka. Yes wananitaka but wanafikiria uko, uko na mzu, ah, watoto baba yao ni mzungu which means anatuma pesa uko na pesa wakuje wakuku wakukule. So wakigundua hauna they wanaenda. Wanaenda. Nikatafuta tafuta pesa sasa nika nikasema acha tu hata kama nilelemewa nipeleke tena mto private basi. Mm. Nikampeleka shule inaitwa Twidol Pips. Nikamba hiyo uniform na kila kitu na hiyo time ilipata kama already watu walishafungua so time iko almost half. So huyo mwalimu akaniambia juu mtoto ameingia shule almost time kisha lipa tu fee half sasa usilipe yote. Mm which i did aki hapo si shule zingine wakubali hiyo ni shida yako hata kama mtu ameingia katikati mm. so nikalipa half na fee na kila kitu sasa si nikabaki na huu sasa mdogo mm. sasa kwa nyumba sasa sasa kuna siku nyingine nili, nilipeleka mtu hii shule late alafu teacher kanikorofisha sana sasa unajua yeye ajui what i'm going through akaniambia you are a very careless mama mbona unaleta mtoto shule na we are only late 15 minutes late watu wanaingia kwa class 7:30 si tumeingia 7:45 nikamwambia teacher ukiona nimeleta mtoto hii late hivi kuna saba and that day tulitembea the following day you see na do it means tena mtoto ataenda shule akitre akitrek akitrek akuenda juu pia mimi nilikuwa nimechoka nikamwambia ni, akanipigia simu jioni mtoto wako aku report shule kwani mbona kuna shida gani ikabidi sana lazima niambie teacher so kweli na i'm very yani I, i thank god that very day nyali niambia tiku, ebu kuja shule nikapatana na sasa mwenye shule director yani nikasikia tu i can't bear it anymore nikamwambia kila kitu nikamwambia teacher tunapitia lot size nimebaki it's like I'm a single mom and I have two kids akanisa ai how na huyu mtoto babaki na kaa si wa huku ni wa ni wa ngambo nikamwambia ni hivyo lakini atupati support yote from yeye sasa ni mimi tu mm. akanielewa akaniambia hey could that be the reason why mtoto wako maybe alikuja shule late, late. eh nikamwambia eh lakini huyo madam madam huyo teacher huyo nani director naitwa purity mungu tu ambariki akaniambia mtoto wako atakuwa na chukuli wana gari bore don't pay me eka enda ukajipa enda upange life yako vizuri ukajipange mtoto wako atakuwa na chukuliwa na narudishwa kwenye mnaishi Usibodha tio siju uko na deni ya shuda tiju ya transport wenda ukajipange alafu utakuja uniambie bali hiyo story imefika juu nilimwambia kila kitu akaniambia i understand nikamuuliza kuna wakenya yenye ninajaribu kuambia story yangu but i wonder we ni vipi umepata kuni understand hivi barakati i also have siani aliniambia siju na relative mwenye pia siju alikuwa na mzungu and uh, walikuwa na issues so alikuwa na understand akaniambia eh tija nikamuliza eh hey, lakini si yani mtoto wangu achukuliwe na gari bure tena rudishwe akaniambia hivyo ni venye nimesema nikalivu ofisi yake sasa nikabaki na huyu sasa mdogo sasa huyu mm. mdogo si lazima pia umpeleke deke hata mm. kama nikibaju kama nikubaki walikuwa na baki na sister yake mm. now sister yake anaenda shule mm. Sasa uwezi mwacha peke yake lazima utampeleka deke ukienza mashughuli zako. Mm. Sasa nikaanza sasa ya ya ya, ya kutafuta ya, ya salon sasa. Mm. 
sasa ya saji unajua salon work unajua salon mm. unajua nini na nini najua najua mostly braiding okay alafu weaving kama ni full head siezi but kama ni ya kuachisha na nywele najua na nails oh, oh. na makeup Aha. sasa nikasema hizi zote zenye najua ya kazi ya mkono sasa wacha hizi ndio nifanye kama nitapata kaki kakitu kakitu so hizo job za haraka haraka sasa hii umeacha ah hiyo niliacha kitambo eh niliacha juu eh hata wenye wako huko hata sijua na survive aje ni ngumu ni ngumu kabisa na nikuulize vera wewe ukiangalia nyuma unaona ni wapi ulikosea naweza sema mistake yenye nilifanya maybe ya pili ile ya kwanza yes ilikuwa ni makosa but ya pili yenye nilifanya ni hiyo saku ku accept mtu tena baki unajua tena ni kama ameniongeza mzigo wengine mm. mm. na ni mistake gani unaona wazazi wako walifanya wazazi wangu wana mistake i mm. think mimi ndo niko na mistake because me i didn't open up ile ku, wow. ku, ku, eh, kuambia because i'm very sure hata my father ningemwambia this is what happened hata huyo mtu angekuja angetaka hata mm. meet tena mm. Mm. na mkanye ama kuna action to maybe mzazi huwezi jua Kenya anaweza fanya mm. so maybe to some extent i think hiyo ku hold sana alafu mm. you don't want to share hiyo mm. mm. ku hold sana mm. sai sai life iko aje sai zi life iko tough kabisa because after hiyo ku, kuhama sasa from hiyo nini one bedroom mm. kwenda sasa kwa nini kwa kwa bed sita kadogo it's very small mm. i wish one day ukuje one it's mm. very small kabisa life imekuwa ngumu alafu unaona pia uko na watoto pia na kuna kazi lenye utasema hii hii nae niko very sure hata mm. nikitafuta kazi na yani yenye umesomea unaona hizo zingine zinafanya ni ile unataka ya kufanya kujua na talent yako uko mm. na talanta kufanya hiyo mm. but ile tu yenye umesomea hakuna so yeah. unajua lazima tu ile kungangana kabisa na unaona ni kauli kwa unataka maisha ya haraka <laughs> si mimi sikutaka maisha ya haraka kabisa mm. si mimi ni mtu nimelelewa kibera tumezoea hiyo life ya kuhustle eh, ku so hakuna venye naweza sema ti maybe nilikuwa nataka nini maisha ya haraka mm. mm juzi after kuhama sasa nilikuwa na hiyo stress alafu hiyo saku accept ati Mungu wa ulisha ninua tena ukanipeleka huku tena unanirudisha chini mm. sasa hiyo ilikuwa inanisumbua plus hizo zingine zenye nimeongelea zote mm. nilikuwa nasikia nimefika mwisho ni juu nilikuwa najiuliza until when itaisha lini ni maisha yetu imekuwa hivi like a weighing machine mpande juu mshuke mpande juu mshuke sasa nilikuwa najiuliza Mungu hadi lini sasa hata kama hiyo ni faith kidogo ulikuwa nayo unasikia imeisha mm. imeisha kabisa kabisa sasa hiyo siku after kuhama sasa nikalipa lipa madeni alafu nilikuwa nimebaki na pesa kidogo sasa nilikuwa yes hata nime sasa nimeuza i have nothing kabisa sasa ndo nimerudi ile chini kabisa hakuna yenye nitaonyeshana ati hii sasa nitauza kama kim, kimeumana sasa nilikuwa nasikia nimefika tu chini kabisa. Nika nika post sasa Facebook. Nikaandika I feel it's better to die. Life it's hurting. Na for me nilikuwa naiona hivyo. Nilikuwa naona yani nimefika tu mwisho kabisa. Alafu the kids they are looking. Wanakuangalia wewe. Kama wana kitu ni wewe ushughulike. Shule kama watafukuzwa ni wewe ushughulike. Nini nini kila kitu yanao na kuangalia. Sasa inaniuma my kids yes wanahitaji but sasa sina uwe, sina Uwezo. uwezo. Hata kama wanaongea ti ufai kupanda matatu. Yes hata mimi ninataka watoto wangu basi wapande kama ni gari yetu ama maybe taxi lakini sina hiyo uwezo. So ilikuwa inaniuma pia. Alafu hiyo watu wanakuambia watu mtoto si wako. Na sasa utamu utamu explain aje ndio aelewe watoto ni wako. Wanakuwa watoto si wako when you when you made. Eh when you made nikaanza kutembea kwa chemist sasa mm. naanza kuambia symptoms zenye hata sina acha nisikie sije kukooa sije wapi nini nini tu homa homa si anakuandikia the same same dawa zenye amekuandikia naenda kwa chemist na mudiza uko na hii anakupatia nikaenda nikaenda nikapile hizo dawa mingi si amoxil si actol si yani nilimeza nili, nili combination za madawa zingine hata siji majina Nilikuwa nimefika mwisho na nilifanya hivyo watoto kama wameenda shule hata I didn't want to know watoto wata after kutoka shule wataenda wapi. Yaani nilikuwa very sure naenda kuku kukufa juu nikibeba hizo dawa zilikuwa mingi hivi kwa mkono. 
nika nikamwaga kwa mdomo na tena nikamwaga zikaenda zote after kupo sasa nika relax sasa masimu sasa zikaanza kuingia watu wananipigia simu the first person kunipigia ilikuwa ni urafiki yangu Rais Pamom akanipigia Vera sasa poa uko poa ati yeye yeah, niko poa na size nilikuwa nalia ni, yani nilikuwa nalia nataka nikufe haraka hata mtu basi asifike nipate kama bado niko hai na sikuwa nimepigia mtu Rispa kanipiga kaniambia nakuja hapo na usizime simu hadi nifike hapo nikamwambia ni sawa ni sawa nikakaa nikatulia hapo kwa nyumba nikaanza ku feel funny nasikia ni kama pumzi zinakatika ni kama yani nataka ni heme na nataka nasikia tumbo pina inakata sasa nikachukua simu sasa juu watu wananipigia sasa wenye wako na namba zangu wananipigia simu wanataka kujua kwa nini umbano na post kitu kama hiyo facebook sasa after that nikaona hizo phone calls ni mingi na sitaki pia kuzichukua wengine wananiambia kivera sasa hizo ni nini umepost like muta take serious kenyo umepost hapo nikachukua simu nikapelekea jirani nikamwambia chukua hii simu kama kuna mwenye atapiga simu juu nilijua ni huyu ndiye anakuja amen amen kama kuna mwenye atakupigia na kuja hapa unini umnini um, umpe direction na kuja hapa sasa after that si, niliku, nilikuwa nime lose conscience sasa kuamka oh, si i don't know what they did <laughs> i was disappointed like um, nimeamka kama bado mimi ni mzima which means bado tunaenda ku face zile mashida head on sasa nilikuwa very disappointed sasa after that nikakakao si for some time alafu na ni kuna friends walikuwa wanakuja kuni visit wengine wananiongelesha wengine pia wanakupatia story yenye yani ukisikia unaulinganisha na yako unasema tu aki Mungu basi mimi hata sijui ni kwa nini na huyu kama li survive hii basi mimi basi ya eh nita survive unapata mwingine anakuambia story yenye iko worse than you was and i'm glad you are eh, here yes mm. <laughs> yani kuna mwingine aliniambia mpaka mimi mwenyewe nalia and i'm regretting again na mm. saa zile nilikuwa disappointed mm. yani mbona nimeamka kama bado niko mzima watu wamekuja wamekuzunguka hivi mm. ni aibu pia juu mm. sija sija accomplish hiyo mission i'm glad you are here Aki, hakuna I pain <laughs> yes ume consider therapy eh therapy Therapy yes kuna wenye walikuwa wananiambia but sasa wananiambia ti lazima nilipie. Hmm. Si ako, so tukapata hata therapist mwenye atakuona for free unaweza enda. Kabisa. Uh-huh. Aki. Juu si ati hiyo kitu imetoka. Sometimes nasikia bado I'm regretting why why I did that alafu siku siku ni siku faulu haikuenda hmm. through. No, no. Hmm. So I'm still fighting that. Sindio. Mm-hmm. And me I'm gl- you are here for a reason. Yeah. Kosu sayu kazi yenye unaweza jifanyia ni kazi yenye unaweza jifanyia size ni makeup na jiamini sana. Kabisa. Kabisa. So utanifanyia makeup eh, kwa show. Yes, makeup na nails. Okay. Alafu na salon pia. Eh hiyo eh, kushuka shuka and other things. Hizo ni vitu unaweza fanya. Kabisa. So ukapata tu mtu wa kukushika mkono, hiyo yes. ni kitu unaweza fanya. Alafu acting pia naweza juu kuna pia a France ni, ni kuna France movie yenye mm. pia tulificha yes. tulificha kama ni extras. Fi, featured featured extras. Mm-hmm. Yeah and to tulifanya poa sana mm-hmm. na director ali fry so it means i can also act mm-hmm. i think your life has just begun mm-hmm. and i think story yako kuna watu wengi walikuchukulia advantage mm-hmm. na the fact haukuwa exposed kwa relationships na the fact pia sioni ka ulikuwa na mtu wa ku advise pia yes. kwa relationship mm-hmm. and i think this guy you need to watch out eh? mm. cuz naona hata huko kukusukuma kwa maji mm. maybe ni mtu hata alikuwa anataka ukufe aseme ume drown yes. unaona mm. cuz alijua embassy na inakutafuta so hata akisema uli drown mm. nothing much ingemfanyikia mm. but mimi usema maji kishamwagika ifanye nini hayazuleki mm. na usi acha kujiblame sana mm. kitu ah, mimi usema hapa no one is a saint mm. na hakuna mtu mwenye ajakosea la muhimu ni si ushakubali uh, makosa ilishafanyika challenges ndizo hizi so moving forward ni nini unataka kufanya na maisha yako hiyo ndio swali mtu anafaajuli mm. ajiulize moving forward unataka kufanya nini ndio watoto wako wakikuona few years waseme my mom is a strong woman mm. hakuna mtu anaweza pitia hizo vitu zote ulipitia kawe si strong you are strong I so acha kuji doubt you are very strong you are beautiful you are worth it yani you are courageous so 
a, a, sema tu maji isha mwagika so sasa tufanye nini tuanze hmm. tuanze upya si ndio yeah. in case kuna watu wana watch na maybe mtu angetaka hata kukusaidia na therapy hmm. mangu hata kama ni za watoto anything hmm. mimi usema kwa hiyo show hakuna limit hmm. you never know ni nini wa Kenya wanaweza fanya hmm. watu wanaweza kupata aje kwa wa Kenya ambao wame watch story hmm. na maybe wameguzwa na wangependa maybe kunisaidia wanaweza kunifikia kwa namba yangu ya simu ama maybe wakufikia wewe manake kama ingekuwa wewe mimi singe wange nijua mba, a, wala wange aonge 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 sikia hii story so namba yangu ya simu ni 0720528649 hmm. yeah kama anaweza maybe kunikosa for some reasons maybe anaweza pia kukufikia hmm. yeah na majina yote italeta nani majina italeta veronica achenga book okay yeah. na sasa ushaambia wazazi kila kitu yeah sasa hizi nishaambia wanajua hiyo hmm. time yenye nili, nilikuwa nimemeza dawa hmm. sio hata wazazi walitoka ushago wakakuta eh hey walikuja wow. hata mm. nini my parents walikuwa huku last week karudi ushago so no no unapendwa eh si no no unapendwa <laughs> unapendwa mm. wasichana wetu especially wenye wanaolewa huko nje cuz mm. kuna watu wazuri pia yes. kwa hawa easy interracial marriages kuna zingine very successful yes. na hata nime host watu kwa isho mm. but wele, wa, wenye waelewi mtu ni nani na wajachukua time kuchunguza um tunaenda kuolewa na yeye mm. ama um tunapanda ndege niende nione mm. ni mtu wa aina gani ungetaka kuambia nini i just want to caution them ukikutana na mtu take your time usi, usikuwe na hiyo haraka ama maybe pressure from parents or maybe friends mm. ati ndo yani ufanye mambo kwa uaraka bila kunini kumsoma mtu lazima usome mtu na kusoma mtu ni kukaa naye karibu unaona yeah. sasa kama mimi si from 2013 mpaka saa hizi hiyo ni karibu miaka nane roughly mm. si ndio kwa hiyo muda mimi nime, nimejua huyo mtu for only one year ju nimekaa naye six months chile six months in kenya so unaona mm. so nimemjua for a very short time, short time. but niambie kama ingekuwa hizo miezi nini miaka nane zote nimekaa naye si ningeshajua mm. yeye ni mtu aina gani mm. familia yake ni watu aina gani mm. so advice yenye naweza patia ni ukikutana na mtu find the time soma mtu usikuwe na haraka mm. tio maybe huyu mtu ako na mali ako na pesa na nini so una una unajiingiza pala alafu kisha mm. unakuja kunini kulia baadaye yeah. ongea na watoto wako kwa hiyo kamera <laughs> my kids <laughs> my kids talia blessing and prince i really love you so much and you know it just know i'm the best mom like now they call me best mom after that incident so unajua watu zao walitoka wakaenda kwa nani kwa kwa rafiki mm. kwa rafiki yangu so mm ndio watoto tena uwarudishe kwa line niambie what happened my mom is not here and all that so i just want to tell them i love them so much i am here for them i'll keep fighting yes just for them hata kama na lose or page but i will do it just for them yeah. basi yeah. yeah and we will always be here to hold your hand ni wangapi ni wawili ni wawili you have two kids huh? yeah talia. a boy and a girl talia Talia and Prince Talia and Prince yeah. a boy and a girl and yeah. will keep holding your hand you don't have to do this alone yeah no matter hakuna saint kwa ima usiwai danganywa na mtu ati ati kuna watu perfect mm. but the most important thing ni we all learn si ni sawa yeah all right mm. maneno yako ya mwisho kwa Kenya maneno yangu ya wake, nini ya mwisho kwa Kenya ki msichoke kusaidiana we, kusi, there are still good people out here yes no matter how nini tunasema tio siju kuna yes kuna wabaya na kuna wazuri yeah, bado yeah. so kama unafanya mazuri wewe endelea tu kufanya mazuri atakuja tu akufuate tena mm. eh, na kama mm. pia unafanya mabaya kitu badilike mm. yeah. and your kids will be proud of you yeah and i, I had a message kwa huyo mwanaume ah mwanao hiyo kamera <laughs> mwambie <laughs> so this is this is this message is for you just know you have put me through a lot with the kids and may just god bless you wherever you are that's it we moved on thank you wow i'm so proud of you ni sawa sawa yeah and i know it might be tough now but who knows ya mungu ni mengi okay
my people i know he interviewed me kuwa long but he kuwa very 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 educative and i know you've learned something and i always say no one is a saint and everyone deserves a second chance in life so mommy thank you for being so strong thank you for being wacha kuji blame kwa zile vitu unaona hiyo isha isha mwagika sasa tujue what's next ndio yeah. and i know you will go far so keep pushing and keep being strong for your kids okay for yourself and and for your kids and if you are watching miss kia she can do a lot she's good at nails very good at makeup very good na hair so tunaweza promote i let her do my makeup probably do my nails for an episode of this show and if you are watching and you are also a therapist when you unaona unaweza mshika mkono because i believe she needs a lot of counseling please mshike mkono we do not want to lose another soul in this life when we know we can help and anyone who wants to help her support her even get clothes for her kids and anything that you think you can do even if it's to drop her a text of encouragement please do it kwa hizi namba zake zenye ziko hapa let me know what you have learned share your thoughts on the comment section below and if you want to share your story with me my email is also pinned at that comment section below uh, let me know what you thought of today's topic a very huge shout out to you mtuna shooting na hizi vipindi my cameraman and director edwin ochieng and also our amazing editor david murethi for always make sure that we give you the best when it comes to this show my name is lynn Googie, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.